welcome back. Welcome back. Have I said welcome back? Welcome back. We got this shit. So previously on the Cave Crawlers, you guys made it finally to the islands of the Academy. Yet there, and after a very tense negotiation series before and against, unfortunately, it looks like Lionel Wise decided to become the latest student at the Academy. Afterwards, you, um, you went into the grounds and actually got to uh, visit the Council of the Academy. During which Qualia made a challenge to the Archmage mm -hmm. that had left the devious trap that caused her situation. Upon leaving the Council Chambers, a certain Kenku noticed a pair of students acting quite suspicious and entered and convinced most of you, with the exception of um, Kami, who decided to meditate, to go through the hedge maze that the two students had ran off to. A couple of missteps later, which results in a couple extra hours of searching, and you guys found a very ominous looking cave entrance. And on that note, cave crawlers, what are you going to do? Go in the cave. Alrighty, kids going into the in cave. Squeak, you get following behind? Yep. Follow you with her? Yep. Yep. Alrighty. So, Kriv, I'd like you to make a perception check, please. Nah, nah, that, 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 that's, that, that's nice. <laughs> No, it's not that. natural, though. I mean, it's still nice regardless. Mm -hmm. Racial traits. And your third eye opens. <laughs> Do Dragonborn have natural or dark vision? That's safe. It looks like you have natural vision. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, is this coming into hand for the cave? Hmm? Is this going to come into hand for this cave? Is it going to come into what? Into hand if we're going to need it for this hand? cave. Hand. Oh, is it going to come in handy? Yes. Sorry, the E was not coming out correctly, so... <laughs> Ham, like H A M, the food. What? Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. In this case, your guys' various ability to see in the dark might come in handy. Okay, I'm okay then. Nice. Dude, are there any of us who don't have dark vision at this point? Like, it looks I don't, like I don't Kriv, have dark vision. Yeah, Crib, <laughs> who is the largest okay. of you and is in front. Out of people yeah. who actually <laughs> exist. Hmm? Wait. <laughs> I was making a joke. Do half elves even half dark vision? Yeah. It would say in your racial traits. Oh, nice. We have dark vision. If, if you don't see anything about dark vision or true sight or something like that, then that means you have natural vision and you're going to hurt in darkness. <laughs> dark vision I'm going to trip on a rock. <laughs> So, oh actually, unfortunately, because of that, um, Kriv, I would like you to make a second roll and you're going to take the lower of the two because you're starting to enter darkness. Oh, no! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, no! That's significantly less, but not bad. 
Okay. So you enter and you notice quickly thanks to the narrowness of this cave which is basically single file and how it kind of twists and turns a little bit that the light quickly fades oh before you know it there's so little light that you are having trouble seeing your own hand in front of you so you're reaching out using your hands to guide you along the cave why am i the one walking in the front can oh my god Um, it's gonna take you about ten minutes of kind of shimmying through this small, dark place before it starts getting a little wider, a little wider still. Now two of you can be shoulder to shoulder, if you so choose. Is anybody gonna go up to crib and be side by side, or are you gonna stay single please, file? Please help me. I, I think I should. See. I should. I think I should move. All right. So both of you, squeak. You just roll natural perception. Uh, crib. I want you to roll disadvantage. No, no, I'm hanging out in the back, just like look at the. Guy. And that'll be nineteen. Seven. Okay. So, Kriv, you're still having trouble thanks to the lack of light. Um, Squeak, what kind of vision do you have? If I am correct, and I read correctly last time I checked, I have dark vision. So, for you, you're able to see up to about 30 feet, but it's in black and white. It's kind of an odd sensation since you spent so much time above ground. Hmm. If you've ever watched the old timey shows or movies, it looks exactly like black and white television. Yeah. And oh. about five minutes of this, and um, you get to a door. Kind of really should not be here. And I is it locked? Can I try and open it? Is it locked? Are you gonna open? Are you gonna try to open it? Yeah. All right. The handle starts to turn, and the door door starts to open. Okay, it wasn't locked then. <laughs> so you're gonna open it? Yeah. Slowly, of course. You start opening it. It gets about half half an inch out or sorry half a foot out when you hear a click oh what did you do what do you nothing seems to be happening did i hear the click? Uh, wait did i hear the click yes you all heard the click it was very audible in this did you just fucking do what i did are you just gonna explore are you gonna be like me are you gonna be in a coma squeak i just i just turned my head and looked terrified (laughs) without moving in an inch it's okay bird could i slowly back away (laughs) oh wow thank you away crib um, can I, like, lean my head through and try to, like, see if there's anything in? So you're going to try to lean through without fe- affecting the door at all? Yes. Make a dexterity check for me. Fuck. Fourteen. Yep. You're able to go through. What you see... Gonna... It looks like the door is connected to something, but you're not sure what. Can I roll investigation? Can I try to uh, investigate further? What's your vision type? I have dark vision. Alright, disadvantage. Dark vision has disadvantage? In this case, because the black and white is not helping you here. Mm. What the fuck would have happened if I didn't even have dark vision? It would have hurt even more. How's a seven? 
You know it's oh. connected to something. Can I try to just pull the rest of my body through to try to, like, look closer? You can, but it's not going to help you. Because mm. the seven. Seven to seven. <laughs> what so, do you like, do? It's attached to something. I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna like hang out on this side of the door. And then just like <laughs> stay on the inside. Alright. I am thinking between continue to open it or just leave it there and run away. You can do oh. it. I believe in you. You hear a muffled. Uh, what do I think if I can do? So, Kriv, how far have you backed off? Just out of curiosity. Like, I'd say like maybe five feet. Not okay. that far. Noted. I just want oh. to get a glimpse in my head where you all are at. Alright. Uh, is that door heavy? Am I at, like able to know that from you um it's a it's not notably heavier than any door you've uh opened before it feels it might be a little bit but not notably i want to please i hope this even works i, <laughs> I want to let go of the door walk back and could I, by any chance, throw either a dagger or a short sword into it? Okay. Is that a possibility? You can most certainly try. What would I roll for this? You would... I'd say you'd roll an attack. Oh. Interesting. Uh oh. And then the amount of damage you do from the attack will be the amount of force you put in the door. Or the amount oh. of damage you do to the door. It depends. It It's up to you which one. Okay. Um. Because you're still okay. skill enough, I'd say, that you're able to decide if you want to damage or push the door. It's not really to damage, it's to. You want to push it's it? For, with, the, with the force of the. Of the weapon, like push it. Yep, forward. so you're going for push. Right, you're yeah. For attack. Okay, so simple damage, not hit, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Please. No, you will That's damage. Annoying. You need to, you oh. need to roll the hit first. Oh, okay, so, okay, so it was Griffin, okay. Uh, that is a none. No, thank you. Yeah, another. <laughs> Nothing happened. That was on that no, one. Something did happen. You threw oh, your shit. sword at the door, and it went through the open gap. Did it hit me on the other side? Oh. <laughs> did um, it? Qualia, roll a d6 for me. Cool. I'm gonna get hit because of this. If you roll one, you get hit. Any others, you're fine. Oh, it was on a one for a second. Uh, You're fine. Uh, it it kind of went past your ghostly face as it went by. Because you weren't warned by Squeak ahead of time. What the fuck? Out of, out of, out of everything that could have happened, it fucking went through. Uh, can I go try to retrieve it? You're a ghost. I, I can manifest myself like into strong enough to like grab stuff. I think I have in the past. Make a constitution check to see if you're able oh. to affect your ghostly body enough to retrieve it. Can you have done this from the beginning and just open the door yourself? <laughs> you can pick it up, but good luck making an attack with it. If I were to make an attack, <laughs> I would just carry it back. Okay. So you're going to try to carry it back through the slit in the door. I was going to try to push it back through the slit. I'll just push it. Make so a dexterity check with disadvantage because you're barely able to hold the weapon. Oh my god. Here you go. Oh! <laughs> oh. 
Oh no. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> you ended up shutting the door. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. You hear another click. Are there more clicks? Does anything happen? Are there more clicks? Something tells me this click is just to scare people off by now because of a clicking twice. Hey, Claudia, clicked. are you? Which side of the door are you on? I'm still on the inside. Okay, make another investigation with disadvantage. Oh, please, please. Hey. Well, oh, you're not able to tell what it was attached to. You notice that the mechanism has detached from the door. Oh. Is there more ticking sounds now? Mm-mm. That's uh, good. Guys, it looks I... like thanks to it looks like thanks to the quietness here. Whoever set this trap forgot to forgot that the click right right as it armed would be audible. If you had pushed the door any further, it would have armed. Wait. Or sorry, not armed. Go. It would have gone off. Oh. I, so I was under the the assumption that it was a grenade, and that if we pulled it all, the door open any further, it would have pulled the pin out. Pretty much, yeah. but you don't know what the grenade would do. Uh, I think I just disarmed the thing. It's not attached to whatever it is anymore. I just go and open the door. <laughs> You're going to open it all the way. Yeah, I'm not even going to think twice. Alright, you open it all the way, you get back to the, about to the exact same spot, you hear a click. But because you oh had my... the intention of opening the door all the way, I want you to make a dexterity check to see if you can stop the door in time. If you want to stop the door in time. Uh, dexterity, dexterity, dexterity. I guess, I guess he does. Okay. Uh, normal, with advantage, or with some advantage again, I forgot. Uh, normal. Be I'd say normal, because you're not a ghost with dark vision. Oh, oh, that's 17. You're able to stop it when you hear the click. You're right Oof. back to where you started. Wait, did the line go back up somehow? Yep, it's back to the armed position. Huh, and it looks like... Opening the, door to opening the door this far arms it again. So just make a... it has not gone off. I, I just want to say, it looks like when you open it up to this far, it rearms itself. But then when, it, you know, you, like, close it, it unarms. Okay. How how far open is it? It's about half a foot. Okay. You what... can get your hand through. What if I you... can... What if you guys... Okay, like, thanks to my beak, I can't go in. Which was my idea. Okay, but what if you guys went further back and I pushed it open? So you want to deliberately set it off? Yep. Actually, wait, can I try to disarm it? Uh, you hardly could... Okay. You're a monk. You're going to be taking double disadvantage once for ghostly and once for the fact that you're that you're not a proficient in traps. I think it's better to use yeah, push it. <laughs> I mean, what do you guys think? Should I try to disarm it, or should I try to open up the door? May I give a piece way? of advice? I'm asking them. You mind if the DM gives a piece of advice? Sure. You have a rogue in the group. Yeah, but I'm outside, not inside. He can't can exactly try to disarm it from the inside. No, he's on the outside. I'm on the so inside. You can still try to disarm it from the outside. You know what? Wait, how the fuck would I? You know you what? I'll try. I'll... Oh yeah, true. Yeah, okay. I'll try. Yeah, sure. You're gonna set it off and you're gonna die. I'm gonna get like further into like the area. Can I cover like, myself with my shield? Sure. Yeah, you, you should, are. You should back away. You too. are at <laughs> half cover right now, Kriv. Kriv, you should uh, back further away too. I'm I'm backing away yeah. too. Wait, we're, we're, we're... I'll back away too. Okay. About to sacrifice my ass for this. <laughs> Goodbye, Squeak. I will miss you. Will you will be forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> we'll miss you and then we'll forget you. 
Wait, can't I just try the same thing again? Just throw my other short sword? You wanna- you just wanna push it open. Yes! Well, what was many, the point of attacking? How many short swords do you have left? I have two, and I only have one left, until I pick up back my other one. Okay, so you want to toss your other one. What if you threw a dagger instead, because, you know, those are- Oh, well, yeah, if I did a dagger instead, do you think the dagger will be, it would be easy, enough? It at, a cer at a certain strength, well, I think it will be enough. You can do the dagger, but it would not be able to push it as far. What would happen if I breathed acid on the I door? I just wanted to push it as much as it needs for that click to go off. Okay, but what if you know? I pushed it open instead? That is also- you don't have to push it, you have to pull it. Because I'm the one pushing, yes, then you I'm have to be Yes, but I'm on the inside. Pulled. I can push it while you're pull. you know, instead of you pulling it open. No, 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 no. I'm pushing it open. <laughs> it. And you're pulling it open. Guys, guys, can I just breathe acid on the door? <laughs> Fuck, that's a good idea. Wait a second. <laughs> we can try. Yeah, you can most certainly try if you want to. All right, let's Sweet. just let can that happen. Can you move out of the way? Yeah, I just move <laughs> as far as I can, but not that far away. I, I don't want this acid to use. Where did Corey get hit by me? this? Which I'm, 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 I'm further into the cave. I'm like further in and away from the door because fuck that. Alright. Oh gosh. Right, yeah. I'm gonna use my acid breath on the door. Okay, roll 2d6 acid damage. Breath weapon, 9 damage. The door is heavily melted. Nice. Can you guys climb nice. over it now? It's still it's solid. Anything. It's just on one side. It's really oh damn it. Fuck. <laughs> um. Okay. What if I try to open it the rest of the way? Wait. What side is damaged? Like, like the f side that's facing that's us, or like half of it? The side that's squeaking quiver on. Yeah. Okay. So it's just okay. It's that half. Okay. Um. That means it's lighter. That means the dagger might do more. Maybe. Unless we actually let Korra do it, but would the explosive or anything affect her? You're not sure what's going to happen when you it goes off. You could try to let me, like, disarm it. I can it's do it. double disadvantage. It's yeah, that's fine. No, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so I was having trouble following here. What's the plan? Although technically, you know, I'm just... it might be easier for you to, di to disarm it now. Even though you're on the outside, half of the door has been melted. Maybe it is like the string or whatever. Is I want outside. you to know that it's acid, and I don't know if it's still on effect or not. If I try and move my, ha my arm right next to that, you know, you're catching <laughs> on. It doesn't last long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can just move okay. it and then you can do it. Yeah, it doesn't leave an area effect, so I therefore rule that the acid has a very short lifespan. Okay, okay, um... Fuck. You what I'm guessing it? is, if I do try to disarm it, I'm gonna roll with disadvantage, because I'm on the other side. I mean, we can always ask. The so fact you that you stay quiet tells me yes. You, you want to, you want to uh, disarm it. If I were to disarm it, instead of doing the dagger thing, now that the door is way lighter than before because it's missing half of it, um, I'm guessing it would have this advantage because I'm on the outside, not on the inside. No, it's just a straight. Just straight? A straight one, exactly. A straight just a straight roll to disarm. It's a straight sleight of hand check to disarm the trap. Yeah, go ahead. You got this. I believe in you. Sleight of hand is dexterity, by the way. You got this. Woo. I'm to say, wish I put more points on my sleight of hand because now that I'm getting into two sleight of hands mo moments, it's like holy fuck! I needed more points. Um, you can do it. Roll it. Got this. <laughs> I just want you to know, if I die here, 
You, you are a end. fucking ghost. You could have done this. I kept on offering and everyone was like, no. No, are, no, 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 no. There's a difference. You get to add your proficiency modifier to it, too. Yeah, you have a proficiency. What? Yeah, you have a proficiency. You're a profession in disarming traps as a rogue. How much was the modifier for that? Plus, um, I believe everyone's at plus two right now because you're uh, level three. Let me. Oh, it will be plus six and plus two. Yep. Oh. Fuck, that was very tempting. Do it! You can Fuck do it. it, you know what? I'll do it. If I die, I die as a hero. <laughs> Sure, I'll do it. Fuck it. I'll get that one. <laughs> oh, and shut please. up. Please, <laughs> please. Oh my god, that is a seventeen plus two nineteen. Approaching the door, you take your feathered hand, reaching gently around the door. You pull the door closed just enough where you can still reach it, but you reach around, grabbing the rod that was arming the trap and gently pushing it to the side, allowing you to open the door all the way. Yes! <laughs> Trapped his it. arms. Oh my god! Upon I just run immediately to grab my short sword. <laughs> upon reaching on the inside squeak, you look towards the trap, and you notice the rod is connected to this circle of magic, and you're not sure what the magic is. Oh god, okay, no. so even worse than an explosion, okay. It would it would require somebody making an arcana check to try and figure out what that thing Can is. Can I try with uh, my I only got plus two on mine. Okay, I'm not gonna do arcana. Yeah, let's let like, do it. Cause they yeah, I'll try. Twelve. You know it would make some sort of sound, but you're not sure what, or at what volume. Huh. It will make fucking sound. <laughs> we just spent so much time here. Hey, it would but it could have been, like, like an alarm. Like a, yeah, and then they would be like, oh my god, these people are doing bad shit to our cave. Well, but how did the students get through? The what? The students, like, no magic shit and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like I said before, I used run immediately. Well, based on the fact they beamlined it straight for this cave, that they knew about the trap and they just went past it. So, I don't know how. how. What's further in this cave? The cave, there's a warrior before it, it was plain dirt floor. Now it's light cobblestone. Nice. Did we find a cobble? The walls are a bit more shaped. But it's still got that cavey kind of feel. Is, is, did we just find a cult? This feels like a cult. <laughs> if it's against the academy, I'm all for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. True. We could take right. that you guys are the continuing academy. inside. Like a new one. Uh, yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, I'll grab my shirt sword on the way back, and yeah, I just want to continue right. heading on. So. You can com only comfortably be single file, but if you want to be shoulder to shoulder, it is possible to have two up, two to two. So, what's the battle order here? Battle order? Wait, is it still dark? Yes, it's still dark. So, what's, what's the marching order there? Is that better? Okay. Color? Wait, we just destroyed that door. They're gonna know that we were here. Anybody else who tries to come in the cave behind you would know. Exactly. But that in itself would have its own problems anyway, considering you're here. What if I close the door but again? Like still, if we get out of here, if we leave, and so they you, see that, right? they no, 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 okay, 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 okay. But listen, 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 listen. What if I close the door again and put the trap back where it was? Because maybe they'll rush in thinking we did activate the door trap and. They'll be the ones activating maybe, it. Maybe they might think I'm that. saying, I just want to say that whatever I'm saying, I'm actually just writing it on my urinal. It's just that I don't want to be like, oh, I pull up my urinal and blah, blah, blah. By the way, Tanky, while you may be characterless right now, you don't have to be muted. You can still talk. 
Do you want to do you want to be nail? Do you want to <laughs> do you want to be the nail to my piccolo? Do you want to talk in my head? What? <laughs> do you oh, want to talk sure. in my head? Let, wait, let me play the spirit of Puko. <laughs> yes, the spirit of Puko, of Puko who's trapped in my head. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, god damn it. Okay, ignoring that chaos there for a second. So what is the marching order here, folks? Are you doing one by one, two by two, and who's what? I think... I go back. You are one of the people with dark vision. Yes, but that's why I should be keeping a high and an eye on behind us. Okay, then I guess I'm on front and Kriv will be in the middle. Exactly. And then or is does Kriv go right next to me, actually? Because Kriv has a like, shield. Fair warning. Is that there was space if, for two, if, right? If two by two because of the crampness here. If anybody gets hit with a skill check that requires your arms, it's going to be disadvantage. Uh, oh, so it's one. it will be shoulder to shoulder. Okay, then no, I think it will be better if I go in front, Criff in the middle, and then Cora in the back. All right, uh, mm -hmm. I need one sec. Before we do this, though, can I put the trap back together? You rearm the trap. Thank you. Just in case, you know, because if they come rushing in after seeing the door, we will be alerted than the others as well. So you guys are continuing on? Yep. I would like whoever is up front to make a... So I think it's just Squeak to make a perception check. Okay. Holy fuck, okay, I see nothing. That's on that one. Okay. This is why that car on the front. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, Squeak is blind right now. Oh no. <laughs> but you all don't realize it. I'm just I'm just here with this like just follow me. I <laughs> the way we'll see. <laughs> no, I have a very simple way of explaining this. Squeak? You know how yeah. you get an eyelash stuck in your eye? Yeah. You've got an eyelash stuck in both eyes. Oh my god. It's driving you insane. Your feathers are not helping you get that out. This is gonna be a fun trip down the cave. So you're, you're more focused on getting your eyes back to comfortable than on the road ahead as you walk. So oh, Griff sees so well enough. To see me moving like this. <laughs> You're walking for about five minutes when Kriv, you hear whispers up ahead. Oh fuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It hey. feels like whispers. As you as you keep going, because you guys haven't said you're stopping yet, you realize it's not whispers, they're talking in normal voice. Uh, I'm gonna huh? stop and be There's like... at least two. Now that you can make out three. I want, oh. I want to, like, poke her shoulders and be like, Cast the top, stop, 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 Squeak, squeak, squeak. You're going to stop squeak as well? Yeah, I just yes. stop and move around to the back. Well, try to, but I'm actually facing to the right instead of back. <laughs> squeak. Rorora's penguin waddling away. Just boop, 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 boop. And he waddled I... away. Waddle, waddle. waddle. Can I try and guide Squeak behind me? Yep, he's behind you now. <laughs> no. So you hear the voices. Do I what know do you what do? they're saying? Can we understand them? Yeah, can we Can we hear what they're saying? Make a perception check with disadvantage because of your range for both, both of, of you. us? Okay, cool. All right. Don't worry. We got this. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> I got a nine. <laughs> I got a fifteen. Well, you're not able to make out much, but Kriv, it takes you a moment. You, in fact, in order to focus on, you close your eyes, and that's when it kind of throws you off. It sounds like one of them is bargaining with another. What? What? Drugs. <gasps> Wait a minute. Can we move a little Only bit closer? Emotions. How close? How much closer are you going? Until I'm like able to hear what they're saying. 
how much closer is in as in feet? Five, ten, uh, like, uh, eight feet. I would uh, just for simplicity's sake, please make it five, five in ten feet. intervals. Ten feet. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> While you're not able to make out the original voices, you now hear another five. So there, oh. you, can, you can hear eight now. Is there, is there some sort of, like, group thing going on? Illegal potion selling. It's a fucking cult. I fucking knew oh it. Oh my god. It's a cult oh my god. selling drugs. Conspiracy? What do you am do, still, Kriv? Am I still not able to hear what they're saying? You're not able to make it out now because of the sheer amount of voices. Oh, that's great. Hmm. What you gonna do? I'm gonna move five feet closer. All right. You can hear an additional three voices. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> there's eleven there now. Oh man, I'm scared to move forward. I'm scared to move forward because I don't want to get noticed. Another five feet. Just. Just humor me for a second. I'd like all three of you to roll for self check. No, no, no reason. No what? There's obviously what gonna, oh god, I Wait. have disadvantage. What check? I was, stealth. Roll. Oh, stealth. I heard self, and I was like, "What do you mean roll a self check?" The fuck oh, do you my. mean? That'll be a nineteen. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> I mean, chorus will do it at the back. So. I'm also a ghost. I am a ghost. I am a ghost. Don't you get automatic stealth yeah. disadvantage because you're farmer? Oh. So you need to roll a second time. Yeah, I'm rolling. That's not helpful. Yeah. <laughs> so, Squeak, you gun the eyelashes out of your eyes, and you notice just in time that Qualia was about to step on a twig that would give you guys your away. But so you she hold out a you hold out a wing to stop her before she does. Together, the three of you are you're being pretty stealthy. Nice. Uh, I... I thought I could see him. <laughs> I, think we could, I think we should go. And all right, so Squeak is in the back all the way. Who? Where no, you I'm guys in the back. The in no, I'm in the middle now. Yeah, okay. he's in the middle, mm -hmm. I'm in the back, and Qualia? Chris is all the way at the front. Qualia? Yeah? You hear three voices behind you. Oh, no. <laughs> Give me the act of rejection! <laughs> oh, no. Kill him, quick. Kill him. They're, they're, and they are coming this way. They're talking to each other, so they're not... Ghost! <laughs> Fireball! Oh, <laughs> Guys! Oh, God. Um, <laughs> we're, quite, we're quite a pickle. Where did it go? They're about thirty feet away from you. Oh, what can we do? What can we? What can we do? Twenty feet. I oh, literally God. can't do anything. Let's rush him. Let's rush him. Let's rush him. Let's wait, 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 Josh, Josh, and they're how many feet away from us? They've seen you. They and they're they're oh. right next to you now. Oh, they see you. They just kind of nod and walk right past. Oh my God. What the fuck? Oh, oh my God. That was so stressful. Okay, they, apparently they, we're they well invited. That you're there. All right, so this okay, is okay. Let's just keep moving then. Yeah, we seem to be so Yeah, <laughs> With that wrenching heart attack over you make the final about thirty, about forty feet, <laughs> and that's when it opens up to a pretty large cavern. Tavern? Where? Cavern. Oh, I got excited. Like it would be like. There would be like a little like waterfall in the and corner and like You're tavern. on what looks to be the third of three rungs, so the very top. As you're looking down, you see shop stands and tables. <laughs> People talking with others, exchanging coin and potion. Uh, like the black market? market of the academy. <laughs> you found the black market of the academy. Oh, let's go. <laughs> 
I think we all agree we're not going to tell anyone about this. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. Wait, ask the, around. The, the, the one who's actually, like, in charge of this place, like, knows about it and goes here without while the rest of them are just there, like, why the fuck do you go? What the fuck? <laughs> No, no, so, no, you found the black market. What are you gonna do? What? Can we explore? Huh? Can we explore? Yeah. yeah. Make an investigation check. For Everyone? Or... Wait. Okay. Yeah. So, who's exploring which floor? Because there's three floors here. I want to explore floor two. I want to explore floor one. I explore floor three. Okay. Eat, um. I would. So, who's exploring the first one? I am. And so you're splitting up. Yep. Mm -hmm. so Great idea. We're, we're going to start, just for order's sake, we're going to start with Kriv. So Kriv, make an investigation check for me. A, a four. Oh, wait a fucking minute. <laughs> There's a lot of shops. Hot. That's an amazing, amazing oh information. So <laughs> oh man! Can I, can I go to one of the shops? Like just like one of them? Okay. Um, there's ten shops. Five to your left. Five to your right. Which one do you go to? Hmm. Third one on my left. Okay. You go there and you notice what looks to be an older student. They finish up a conversation with another younger student and they give you a nod. Hey. So, okay. how much do you need? Oh, God. More than one. As much as I can get. <laughs> as much as I can get. Oh, my God. So, what's your answer? Of what? You you say of what? Yeah. And they respond with stimulants. How much studying do you have to do? Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 They're selling Adderall. Riddling. Oh my god. You you found the shop that is every uh overnight students best shop if you if you have to do an all-nighter you go here oh oh okay i take one all right one hour's worth that'll yep. run you about five silver oh all right I was expecting oh like i was expecting 50 silver. gold yeah no i was expecting gold sorry i meant like 50 gold and i was like <laughs> if okay so in D and D, guys, you're not going to encounter a lot of mean merchants. It's because they won't be able to stay in business for long that way. So just keep that in mind. Look, the evil merchant is not a trope you're going to find in D and D a lot. We um, Ooh. we kind of have a inflation of like what we think is going on with currency, considering the fact that we yeah. have like seven hundred gold. Mm -hmm. It's hard to keep a grasp on. The actual value in that even at world. level three, you guys are pretty much already upper class already in terms of money. Oh, we are fucking rich in, in like that. Thing. No, you're not rich. No, you're not. <laughs> Come tell me you're rich when you can afford to buy a boat. Fuck How much a is a boat? boat. <laughs> 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 I believe a basic brig will cost you about five thousand gold. Oh. That is yeah, nothing fine. compared to the armor I want to buy. Oh, man. Don't worry, you guys. We got this. <laughs> um, also, I like how we had two very different responses. Kru <laughs> over there with how much, and we are here with the fuck is a foe. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell Mind is you, Steve Briggs Jobs? Are small ship. Briggs are small ships. If you want a man of war, ouch. Why can't we get a woman of war? <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, continuing. Uh, while Crib is doing the shopping, who's exploring for two? Me! Hi! Right. Make your investigation check. 
All right, let's investigate. Oh, I almost had a one. I, am so I almost had a one. I bet you're very happy with your roll, then. Yes, I am. <laughs> So this floor, this floor is vastly less populated than the others. You notice there's five, there's four stalls, kind of arranged in uh, a pentagon shape, for lack of a better description, in terms of the very points. And where the fifth point would be at the top for the star, there's a door. Oh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna like investigate the door. Mm -hmm. Go and make a second investigation roll. Twenty. Natural twenty. <laughs> well, there it goes. <laughs> okay, it's your, it's your everything. Oh my God. It's your standard humanoid door, about eight feet tall, about five feet, about one, four okay. feet wide. Is it made the of... handle is about midway up, and you notice there's a little bit of a glass pattern in three shapes at the in the upper middle. The amount of detail. There's a little bit of silver on the handle itself to keep it looking kind of shiny, and you notice that the hinges are fresh. Is the door made out of wood? Like you welcome to door studying session with <laughs> Billy. <laughs> it, it it's made out of wood. Yeah. Wish you would. All right. Also, be proud. I literally just made all of that up on the spot. I I, I just I'm, I just want to like I just take him and just go nice and like just like admire the door for him. Just like yeah. Anyways, what's in here? <laughs> you so you're gonna go in? Uh, I'm gonna carefully like open it up a little bit and like peer in a little. Actually, I can just phase through. Yep. I I want to just phase through and just look in. You look in, and to your left, you see a set of couches arranged in a tri uh, pattern with a table in the middle. <laughs> to the also, right, this is a strip club. <laughs> Did I find the strip club? To, to the right, you notice a desk with an older-looking student who looks straight at you and uh, waves you in. Yo. Yo, Angelo. <laughs> just, just like, welcome to the Archmage shop. What can I do for you? What What do you got? <laughs> what do you well, What do you got in stock? <laughs> we don't really do stock. We do appointments with one of the Archmages. <laughs> do you have an Archmage Wait. you want to see? Wait, hold, hold the fuck. Wait, oh, wait, hold. Wait, oh, wait, oh. Oh. Um, so the Archmage just know about this shit. Uh, oh my god. Hey, this is. I'm speaking in my head to my Puko that is in there. Yeah, what Puko? What's up? Wait, hold on. Just like, I don't know how to fucking say it, but like, do they? There's like two ways this could go. The, it's actually an Archmage you're meeting with, and there's four ways. And that that way, the Archmage's broken. <laughs> You're not really, you're kind of, quote unquote, studying with them, but it's, or it's the other way where it's like a illusion spell or some shit and like you're studying. Okay. I'm going to. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Uh, I go back to the guy and it's like, I mean, I already had my talk with the archmaid I needed to talk to. I just got curious as to what was in here. Well, the Archmages know about the black market, but they realize there's nothing really they could do about it. It would just move shop if they tried to close it down. Sounds about right. Yeah. I had absolutely no plans to try to, like, be a whistleblower. This place, like, seems pretty fucking, like, amazing. Oh my god. Uh, so, as a result, they just let it be, and in fact, Archmage Israel... Isaro decided to set up a shop here. Oh, interesting. Yeah. If you need his help, you can ask. Just remember it two rules. Money. Payment oh. up front, and you tell no one what happened while in your appointment. Oh, wait. 
Wilson is Hyrule, the one we're against. What appointment, no. am no, I right? No. What appointment? We're getting tired. What appointment, am I right? Hey. <laughs> I put the spelling in the chat for anybody who wants it. <laughs> oh, okay. Did, did, did he hear my thing? Sorry, can you repeat it, please? I said, what appointment? Hey. <laughs> They just respond with, swarm back with a, <laughs> and they just carefully just walk yeah. back through the door. See you later, man. <laughs> wait, wait. What? You, no. Wait, you don't. You don't want an appointment? What? Oh no! I, I I just told you I've I already had an appointment with them. I mean, not here, you... but I I had one personally. So, I I had all of the there, there, there. There's. You can see they're starting to st she's she's starting to stutter a little and she's like but you're stuck in ghost form. Mm -hmm. Why don't you want to see him? You you like your ghost form? Well, I already talked they're, to They're him. very confused. I already had a conversation with them and Where? Uh, well, basically uh this one person who works here which they wear a red coat um I I kind of have a history with them. But anyways, the, she she summoned uh, the rest of the Archmages, and uh, I had a conversation, like in the main building. Oh, you had a formal meeting with him when during the council. Yes. Yeah. Just so you know, when there it's a formal meeting or above ground, they're very limited on their rules. But this is a literal black market. So... so wait, so what you're saying is I could talk with someone to like undo this form and then just completely skip out on the duel. What duel? I kind of challenged uh, the one who like set up the boxes that like exploded me and turned me into this ghost to like duel me because I'm really good with my fists. Make a persuasion check to see how much they convince that you've convinced them that you're telling the truth. Pers <laughs> the more she stays here, the more she's gonna. Go they on. just stare at you and just be like, right. I mean, you're welcome to, if you want to see it, it's gonna be at noon. It's in the court. Talking to you, the DM, like, as me. It's in the courtyard, right? You said it's the in the dueling court. The dueling, um, this is this is Billy having a, a spasm yeah, here for a second. I understand. Uh, you I say courtyard. Think of Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. the 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 yards like they have, need like, for the Agni Kai. Yeah. Like the Agni Kai yard. We're gonna go with that. Yeah. Uh, we're stealing it from Avatar. So it's Agni, Agni if Kai you yard. want to like watch, it's gonna be taking place in the Agni Kai yard, and uh, it's gonna be at noon tomorrow. I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of that guy. With she my just dead. She just deadpans. Looks at you, just like right. Well, I, I, I just, if you I really just... do have a duel with one of the archmages. There's no point in you regaining your physical form then today. You're gonna be a ghost either way. <laughs> you underestimate my power. I think it's more accurate that you underestimate theirs. <laughs> you no, didn't no. even bother to ask how one becomes an archmage, did you? You're, you're supposed to. You know, I have research. Say, Don't try it. I have All this time. And understood how tedious and how long it takes to become an archmage. I understand that there is a very long It's not longer tedious at all. You're you long and tedious. <laughs> you could become an archmage right now if you followed it correctly. I'm just gonna say this all the time I've been it's thinking about how she keeps saying that she's gonna win it's and she looks as badly. Wait, so you're saying I could just... Wait, how does one go across becoming a, technically an archmage? Simple. The very duel you just did. So just if I beat him, the challenge. If I you beat become him. an archmage. Do How can I, I name the fight? Wait, did that his title? Does that mean I have to stay oh, here? Shit. No, you can give up the archmage title if you want to. 
So I know someone to give it to you then. I know someone who really wants to do shit. But cool. All right. I'll uh, see you tomorrow when I become an archmage. See ya, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like little do like a little back cop out of the room. Okay. You do, and as you finish exiting the door, you feel a bit of magic hit the door. Oh. Did someone just come through? Nope. What do you mean magic hit the door? Yeah, something, something. The, the door is giving off a little bit of magic now. Before and before it had, it hadn't. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? What did you do to the door? Did someone do your trick? Did this conversation cost me? Were you paying by a second of me talking to you? I feel imagine- you're on. You're on the outside. Who are you talking to? Oh wait, I thought I was still on the inside because I felt the magic. No, you just exited. Okay. Right as you finished exiting, you felt the magic. Wait, can I investigate, or, well, I guess do Arcana to try to figure out what it is? Sure. Fuck. Four. It's magic. Out of character, I'm pretty sure that it is basically, like, makes it so that I can't go back in for, like, another 24 hours. That's my assumption. Back in character. You don't know. No, no, that was my out of character speaking. In character, um, what are the other places up here on the second floor? L looks like it might be restaurants of some sort. Restaurants? I don't need food. No, based on the coloring of each of the stands, for lack of a better term, you think that each one deals with different cuisine. Damn, that's boring. Uh, I wanted to try to hop down and go hanging, uh, go look for, uh, Kriv, thus ending okay. my search. It wouldn't that be up and up third down? Floor. Oh, fun. Let's go. Uh -huh. This is going to be beautiful. Like the first time I did an investigation check ever in this campaign. <laughs> go. Oh, well, you look at that. I'm not surprised. That is a five. <laughs> there are a couple of tables up here. But while there is no stance, you notice that including the door you came, your group came out of, there are seven doors here. We're playing a game, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, seven doors total. Shit. Are you just pick one or can i roll anything to the side or okay uh seven doors seven doors not really a lot to see up here yeah i'm i'm trying to decide which story i want to go through Make a perception check oh that's that's even better okay damn i'm blind again Woo! Yeah, you thought you got rid of those eyelashes. You really did. You felt nice there for a couple minutes. I'm gonna use this as a chance to say that I just walked, tried to walk in any direction and bumped into one of the doors. And that's the one I'm gonna try and go through. Roll a d6 for me. Perfect. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna find that real quick. Here we go. Damn. <laughs> bat roll after bat roll. <laughs> so you wander a little ways rubbing your eyes and you end up on the far side of the cavern when you bump into a door and you decide to go th you you are th thinking about going through when it opens. Oh. But because of that natural one, you're not really seeing too well. Yeah. Nothing and, at all. Uh, you hear a couple of students um, say 
out of the way, bird brain. You get knocked you get knocked off your feet a little bit. And after a moment, you feel a familiar hand reach on your shoulder and pick you back up again. Oh no. You oh, manage no. to you manage to get the um eyelashes out of your eyes so you're able to see again. You look up and standing right in front of you is Lionel. Oh. What? Yo! What a bitch! Be the Holy bitch shit, he went to the Black Knight real quick. What the fuck? You good, Squeak? He's this a kid is up rogue. to things! Of course he found the block market quick. Block? The <laughs> motherfucking kid decided to go away to study magic being a rogue. He could have started with me some stealth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't so, say anything. I'm anyway, guessing that even with the time, he doesn't understand anything I can write. Right? So, for the moment, Squeak, Quali, and Kriv, I'd like you guys to mute yourselves, but you're still welcome to listen. Mm -hmm. Oh. Thank you, buddy. Hey, what's up? So, we're gonna reverse time for Lionel. You just decided to leave the group. You're going through... And a pair of students are ushered over by the Archmage. That one kneels down to you and, tell, and tells you, Welcome to the Academy. Here, climb on up. You're probably tired from your long journey. Let me show you to where you're living. They kneel down in front of you and you climb aboard since you are tired from the journey, not to mention the fighting. Yeah. And they actually take you straight to the tower. You end up going up about five floors where you are given your, for the first time in your life since you were a street urchin, your own room. Your own proper room. Damn. Wait, is it a nice room? Like It's, it's nice linen sheets on the twin on the queen bed there's even one of those overhangs to prevent mosquitoes your own um door that leads to a balcony that you're not sure you saw when you um entered the tower there's another door to your right that leads to your own bathroom and it smells beautiful in here Wow, holy shit, okay. And as b amazing as this is, and the idea of joining the Academy, it, thanks to your training as a rogue and as a thief, it just feels wrong. <laughs> yeah. You're looking at the lens, she's as comfortable as it is, you can't help but think about how much you could pawn off uh, in, in your own black market those four. You, you look at the balcony, and instead of seeing a beautiful view, you think you see all the security issues with having a porch in the academy and how you could exploit them. It's just wrong. Damn. Why the fuck is her porch? <laughs> Shit, dude. What was that? Oh no, I'm just talking to myself. Nothing. You spend about a half hour in your newfound quarters when uh, there's a knock at the door. Mm -hmm. uh, come in. They come in and it's the stu the pair of students that had let led you there earlier. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey. If you're feeling up for it now that you've gotten some rest, do you want to tour the grounds? Sure. That'd be nice. They lead you back out. And it actually kind of feels better being back into the courtyard area because 
being in that level of rich which just did not feel natural for you. So you're kind of easy, easier to breathe. They lead you past the uh, past an old rickety looking building with vines on it. You could hear some yelling inside. The uh, students the students respond with that there is a meeting in progress and that we should not disturb the archmages. Oh. Uh, okay. They lead you past further. They're they show you the hedge mage and offer to to show it to you sometime. They show you the Agni Kai yard. It's almost pure stone with some benches on the sides for people to watch. For those of you who've seen Avatar the Last Airbender, it's literally the 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 dueling chamber that Suku got burned in. And afterwards, the older of the two students, the, the guy, the girl's the one that gave you a piggyback, leans over and is just like, hey, are you a rogue? Yeah. Why? Do you... Hold on just a second. I need my name generator. Do you know Yajar? Over at the Capitol? You, you do recognize that name, by the way. Uh, sounds familiar. Yeah. Here. Just a second. Hey, Thule. I think I'll take it from here. You go catch up on your study. You notice the girl, she breathes a sigh of relief. Alright. Bye, Tilly. And Jeez. the guy leads you past the hedges to this old looks like a janitor's uh, um, shed. Opens it in, and you go through Takes you about 40 minutes through these old, worn through caves. You go through the caves, getting past a pair of doors that the student does something odd with the first door. What are you doing to the door exactly? Oh, there's just an alarm to, in case anybody who's not welcome in the black market will trip. Everyone who's welcome gets shown, just like I'm showing you. Oh, okay. You get through a couple students who join you from a separate path that opens through here. And you go through a second door. The pair of students that from the previous path are ahead of you, and they knock. Before you can even say anything, they knock into Squeak. Squeak, you can unmute, by the way. They call him Bird Brain and keep walking, knocking him down. So you reach down and pick him up again. And hey, you up, notice Squeak? the look of shock on his face. He didn't expect to see you again. How's it going? Uh, let me go to my notes real quick. Sorry, sorry. I can't read still, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, no, that's what, that's what I was saying. Let me go through my notes because I have a few things I can say. I will say hello there in Cora's voice. Oh, yeah. You can't talk without... Okay. Hi. Be, be right back for a hot second, guys. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Out of everyone, I could have bumped in. <laughs> you run into the illiterate one. Oh, my God. <laughs> God damn it. Come on, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, you good. Hey, welcome back. All right.
what I miss. Oh, yeah. Oh, nothing. I just said hello there in chorus voice. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you respond, no. Lionel? Oh, yeah. That's right. You can't talk normally. Um. Fuck. Uh. Uh. Uh, I'm picturing all these us as in canon. The two of them just yeah. not sure what to say to each other. I want to. I want to. What's What's the sound I'm looking for? I mean, you could always yeah, I use think the war. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> no. Okay. So, uh. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna point at the students who just made me fall. And I'm going to chirp and like. And after pointing at them, I'm gonna point at Lionel and I'm gonna chirp and like. I guess the friendliest bird you can think of. I I don't see how. What's what's the name of it in English? Trill? Spanish is Calibri. You're gonna uh, you're gonna do a trill. T R I L L. It's, it's I guess. What? So, from what I can gather, what Phantom was saying is that you saw Squeak lift his one of his wings, points at the two students that knocked him down with a kind of angry trill, and then points at you with a friendly one. Oh. What? <laughs> the, the, the what's in character? Uh, if something tells me Lion is gonna have to roll for <laughs> understanding me like happened before with another person. Uh, okay, I want to point at them. Okay, I want to point again, but at the students and Lionel, like both at the same time with my different arms, and I want to make. Two different chirps from the same bird, but as if they were different birds at the same time. You know, as if it's just birds coming together into a same branch and just talking to each other. Just that. It's in a way trying to say, are you, are you three friends? He doesn't know this, of course, but I'm just trying to explain what I'm trying to say. Lionel, make a roll with advantage to see how well you interpret that. Uh, intelligence? Uh, yeah. Or wisdom. Yeah, I'm gonna do intelligence. <laughs> intelligence. I got a minus one on wisdom. Oh, Jesus. Ah, 17. Yep, you understand what he's trying to ask. Oh, I don't know, though. I'm still new here, after all. I've only been here for, like, how long again? Two hours? It's been about five at this point. Five hours? Yeah. I, I was in the cabin. I was in the room, though, and that room is just beautiful. It's like, there's a balcony. Like, why is there a balcony, you know? Like... Uh, I don't know what I can say for this one. <laughs> Did you see a balcony when we got here? I don't... I simply say no with an unknown voice. Oh. Wait, did you just talk for me? <laughs> I say no again with a different voice. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, let's see what I, I want to try and communicate here, but it's so hard because I cannot write it on my urinal. Callie and Kriv, you can guys unmute if you, but if you want to, like, if you want to talk, by the way. Me monologuing is pretty much over. Did that mean that we're like <laughs> arriving right now, or? You know, you're still doing your separate shopping on the first floor. Oh, I gotcha. Oh. I just didn't want to keep you guys muted for too long because that feels weird. Where's the ghost and the tall dragonborn? If I scream, I have a real question. If I scream loud enough, 
Would the other two floors hear it? Oh yeah. This this cavern okay. shape. If you make too much noise on the third floor, the other floors will hear it. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. So I want to try and get in Chris and and Cora's attention because I think they are big brain enough to notice that we have a bird in the group. And I want to make a loud eagle sound. Okay. I'd like you to, to see to determine what happens with that. I'd like you to make both a both a Huh, how do I how do I rule this? I need to see it I need to see a chart. <laughs> I'd like you to make both a um deception and a performance check. Okay. Check uh, well everyone hears you. Your deception check okay. is to see if they if they determine it to be a threat or not. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, let's hope for the best, I guess. Performance. Uh that is an eleven. Uh that's not that good, personally. And the other one was deception, right? Yeah. Should we roll? Fuck yes, twenty-two. Wait, should <laughs> should uh, we roll uh, like perception to try to see if we hear it? Mm -mm. Nah, he passed. Okay. He yes. passed with flying colors, actually. Wait, so... what was deception? Huh? Yeah. What did, did he? Do it was performance? performance and deception. Yeah, yeah. the performance was for how loud it was. He did. He. He did the eagle screech just loud enough to be so that you guys would notice, but not too loud as in to be obnoxious. Okay. And because of that and the deception roll, most people didn't even notice, let alone oh, take it as an issue. I I was gonna just go, damn, who who let in their eagle? Am I right, guys? Ha <laughs> ha! I need to go talk to them. <laughs> Yeah, you two, you, uh, so, quality, you had just jumped down to meet up with Kriv, and as you get to Kriv, who had just finished a transaction at some weird-looking stall, the two of you, um, hear the eagle screech, look up at the third floor, and you see Squeak and Lionel. Is that fucking Lionel? Oh my god! <laughs> I already had my heart torn out because of him. Oh. I don't need this again. Ah. Oh. Oh. Olya, make a constitution chat. 20 15. So sad. You're fine. I just want to make it clear, this is a way for me to not be alone with Lionel's, because I cannot speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to shuffle up there, because I'm like, eh, hey, let's go do this. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it only takes you about two minutes to get up there because of the stairs. Okay. Oh. Corey and Chris. Oh. Yeah, from Squeak and Lionel's perspective, you guys see uh, the two of them immediately look up. And they both kind of beeline straight for the stairs. And so Not it's ominous. Wait, but I want to yeah. be slower, like a lot slower. I want to say I pointed them. Because <laughs> Lionel had just asked where were they, so I just pointed them right up the stairs. I, I, oh, I don't want to be oh. running. I want to be like walking over there, like, eh. Ah. Well, you're, you're still walking. I'm just saying you're going straight for the stairs. Yeah. Well, while Kriv is just there, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, is that my baby boy? Kriv's <laughs> like, is that my baby boy? Is that my son? <laughs> Kriv's like, is that my son? So you guys make it up to the third floor, and you find Lionel and Squeak waiting for you. Hello. Hey. I can't believe you left us. <laughs> oh my god. I think we're about to see the ghostly equivalent of a hug. Ah! 
I I just I just like start sitting down like a... <laughs> You get a couple weird looks from some of the older students quality, but I mean that nothing happens. Corey, I I'll just give you a pat on the shoulder. He left. You're giving us. a pat on the shoulder to who? Corey. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. I didn't leave. Lionel, make a constitution check for me. Oh. <laughs> 20. <Bruh. Damn> <laughs> Never mind. I didn't... Okay, I didn't leave. I temporarily left. Just... I'm gonna... I will return one day. Even left in the same thing. I just put my hand Shut over up. my heart and just <laughs> turned away. I'm like, ooh. I'm gonna go explore. Oh, I'm gonna make a performance check for me. And, uh, <laughs> Lionel, Lionel, make an insight check for me. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it. He's just saying this pathetic piece of shit. Just... <laughs> Lionel, you you realize how much of an emotional effect it's having on Qualia, but it's not really affecting you that much, unfortunately. Wow. That's oh. like cold hearted. It's not cold hearted, it's just you ever get to that point where you feel so sympathetic for someone, it just kind of puts you off towards being sympathetic for them. Oh. Yeah, that kind of thing. I Can I go, go buy drugs? <laughs> Does your character say that out loud? No, 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 that's me talking to you. Can I go buy drugs? You can probably find some on the on the on the bottom level. I want to go to the bottom level. Okay. <laughs> I'm buying drugs to cope. You just notice Qualia get up and start to walking down the stairs oh. back down to the first floor. Should I? Leave you guys alone. I immediately got up. No, <laughs> in another unknown voice. Uh, seems like you guys are <laughs> I don't really want to see me, based off Quarius. Yeah, that's just Quarius. That's not me. <laughs> well, that's uh... the way to interpret it. <laughs> I immediately write on my urinal and show it to Criff, since I cannot really show it to Lionel, and says, uh, Kuro's been feeling down ever since you left us. Even if it's just temporary, I don't think she's gonna be able to handle it. Mm -hmm. oh, of course I... relays that to Lionel. Yep. Oh. I see. Um... Riv, make a persuasion check with advantage. See how That's... well you and Squeak are doing to try and convince Lionel. That's great. Did you just fail too? No, that's a 16. Uh -huh. That's pretty darn good. Ooh. But it, the issue with this, because it's roleplay, I uh, think he interprets how that Walt does. So. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you to do like damn that. I was gonna I'm, say, can I'm, I just I'm, fucking I'm, roll? Thank you. Don't be trollish, but but it's up to you. <laughs> uh, that's all I, I'm gonna say. Please don't be trollish. I Take swear. it seriously. He, he's just gonna be like Lebow, heartbroken. Wait, hold on. Bitch. Are they trying to get me back into the group? <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, geez, that was not my intention. It would be better if he just rolled and let it up to the dice. <laughs> What the Even if it wasn't intentional, that that response from Squeak kind of pulled at you a little. <laughs> um, <laughs> Squints at you through the internet. I'm trying to think of what to say. <laughs> you guys got any games we can play? Oh. <laughs> I think I have anything else to do for the whole day. I got my uh, card. Uh, 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 I immediately pull out my playing cards. I knew this was going to come in handy sometime. 
Oh, you guys are gonna play. <laughs> there are tables up there. <laughs> you guys should play Uno. <laughs> what Uno? I don't think Uno's been invented. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. I can't say Uno. <laughs> The best part is that you're Hispanic. You're Oh my god. Anyway, so. <laughs> what about Bill Fish? So I assume Squeak and Lionel are gonna play? Yep. Oh, uh, if Chris is joining us. Yeah. Right. I would like all three of you to just roll a d20. Wait, oh, okay. I'm assuming this is for, uh, wait, including me? No. Okay. No. I failed the game, I lost. <laughs> Bro, it slid on a 14 and it just went to a 6. So Lionel wins. Spicy. Lionel trounces you in the first game. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> I'm just getting started. <laughs> All right. Everybody roll another d20. I'll let you do a second round. Oh. For the love of God, why the fuck? Oh my God. Lionel. <laughs> yeah, Lionel ain't giving up his. Ain't giving up. It, it, he's zero. He, he's two to zero. Oh my I, God. I, 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 I slap the table, not the, not the heart. And I go for And I start uh, shuffling the cards together for another round. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down to this. Um, Oh, I need to get a win, please. <laughs> Squeak and Lionel, I remind you both that you're both proficient in cards and your rogues. So if, oh, you, no. do wish, if you do wish to type treat, cheat in a round, let me know. Please. <laughs> Don't do this against poor old me. Okay. <laughs> let's oh. do this. Um... You know, let's let's go. How how do we do this cheating part? I want both of you to roll a deception check to see how well you do. And so I will. <laughs> and woo! Damn it. Uh... <laughs> you get crib and squeak. You notice that about halfway through the game, that Lionel tried to add an extra card through his sleeve. Wow. That's he immediately pretty. bat the hand, the card out and just like, nice try. And continue <laughs> the game. Rude. <laughs> right. So, um, Lionel and Kriv, go ahead and roll your d20s. Squeak, roll a d20 and add a d6. Okay, um, so I'm guessing I just do this and uh, this. Holy sh... Shit. Wow. Wait, what? I want you to see this. Wait, no, I want you to see this. No, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I actually want you to see this. This is actual stupid. What the fuck happened to my dice here? I think it's going to show everything I'm watching, but I don't give a fuck anyways. Look at the dice. It's on both 2 and 18. Yeah, you gotta love it when the dice do that. Yeah, yeah. What the one could even argue that it's a bit on natural 20. Nice. <laughs> um, go ahead and roll a second d20. Oh, me? Yep. Okay. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, that's a 14. So I'm gonna wow. give you a 20 total. Okay. <laughs> because that, that first roll was bullshit. I didn't know it could happen. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens a lot, and it really is annoying. It, so to, be, yeah. to, to be fair, it would have been funny as all hell if Squeak decided to cheat, and he still lost to Lionel, who got busted for cheating. <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, Squeak wins the third round. Damn, I suck at this. You're still winning. <laughs> I say no in multiple voices at once. <laughs> that would that would be pretty them. scary. Just for fun's sake, everybody, go ahead and roll another d twenty. Unless you get unless the rogues want to do another attempt to cheat. 
Uh, nah. Honest this time. I don't want to cheat again. What's with all these? See, over it's here? good when I'm honest. The so lion <laughs> wants to cheat again. Mm-hmm. Make oh a deception God. check. Not twenty. Oh Holy my God. shit! Lionel wins. <laughs> Damn, y'all suck at this. He, if I knew he was cheating, if I you. So is there a chance? The because you're pretty sure you had all the cards necessary to win. In fact, is there a chance I can like try and see if he cheated or not? So I, I guess I, I really want to like have this back and be like, good job, kid. I'm proud of you. Okay, I want you to make an insight check with disadvantage because of the natural 20. Okay, that's not gonna be good enough, but let's try it anyways. Two not 20s? No! No! It almost went to the fucking 20! You know he's cheating, but you're not able to prove it. That's good enough for me, I pass this back. <laughs> Ten was the DC to know, but not be able to prove it. And fifteen was the DC to pr be able to prove it. Oh, oh God! So if you had scored one point less, you would not even have known. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm guessing this was our last round. I think it's been uh, a long time. Right now. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yep. So I'm that's yeah, I get it a free now. Yeah, Lionel wins comp the overall game. Great. Damn, I <laughs> suck at this. <laughs> I want to fucking look at Kerb and be like, uh, so what happened there? Well, there's no way to quantify it. I would like to say that the bond between the three of you has grown. Hey. Nice. Wait, that's See, not what the core was in here. That's not nice <laughs> for what I'm trying to do. So, no. um, how am I buying your drugs? Make an investigation check. All right. No! You just get down to the third floor, find a corner, and just start crying. Where is the drugs? <laughs> From the wizard, the older wizard's perspective, you look like a student that turned themselves into a ghost and is now on a on, on a caffeine withdrawal. Oh my god! <laughs> I had to have a little bit of drugs to escape the fad. <laughs> Welcome to D and D, folks, where the, where a sentence you thought impossible gets said every fifteen minutes. Oh, I wanted to I find have... the drugs to escape the sad. You rolled a natural one. You're kind of screwed. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like that's like you said that you never thought that you would hear that. I think that's pretty like accurate. No, the sentence being. They, you look like a student who turned themselves into a coast and is now going through caffeine withdrawal. <laughs> Can I ask the most <laughs> random bullshit? Can I ask people where the drugs is? <laughs> Excuse oh me, do God. you know where drugs is? Make do you know where drugs set a person with disadvantage? Make a what with disadvantage? Persuasion. Pog. All right, guys, I got this. Don't worry, I will fight. No, the drugs, drugs was a person. Yes! 13! Give you me try the to ask a student, they turn around from the direction that they had went, they come back a few minutes later, and they hand you a, a cup of coffee. But this isn't drugs. It technically is. I, I, I wouldn't think Magical it. powder they, in it! <laughs> they just pat you on the shoulder and just like, just don't do some overnighters for a couple of days. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> They really think they're doing it for us. <laughs> How can I even drink it? Yup. Alright, I'm just going to. Can I eat the cup? Can I drink? Can I just eat the, the coffee with the cup? I will like constitution check. Oh my god. No. They're actually gonna. Yes! <laughs> 
Oh no! We cannot. This is the most oppressive moment for Cora. <laughs> Can we just spill it all over myself, burning myself? You're fucking. <laughs> so, Billy. <laughs> oh. You're having trouble drinking the coffee. How do I drink coffee? When you try to eat the cup. You hurt your teeth, which you're not sure how you're doing because you're a ghost. Can I go find Crib with the coffee? <laughs> sure. Crib. You go back upstairs, right as you right as you see Crib, Lionel, and uh, Squeak finishing up a card game. Crib, how do I eat coffee? I can't figure out how to eat the coffee. You don't eat coffee. <laughs> I want to eat it though. You don't eat coffee. I don't... <laughs> Let me cope. Help me cope. I want are to you... eat it. Don't... Uh... Really? Wait, hold on. Are you really trying to eat coffee just because I'm here? No, it's because I miss you and you're just taunting me with your presence. You're like, hey, I'm not going to see you oh, for a while. God. I'm abandoning you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Um, um, I can I see. can I just lead Corio away? My character's having a mental breakdown right now. If that's not obvious. Oh God, my face can I, hurts can all I, the laughing. Can I cut the cup? Can I cut the cup? Coffee into pieces. Make If you cut my coffee into pieces, I will smoke. I will steal your money to buy some. Drugs and eat the you drugs. You can use the coppers as drugs. <laughs> I'd like everybody to roll a stealth check to see how visible this whole charade is. Everyone, no, no, I mean, I'm the most. I'm the visible at all. I am gone. Ten. I got ten. Five. Oh it, my god. As the one who is screaming. And be like, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So uh, <laughs> I see how it is. I'm sorry. I'll just be on my way then. I don't want I you stop to leave Lionel. Again, though. I don't... You stop Lionel Squeak. Yeah. All right. You go to get up and leave, Lionel, when you feel a feathered wing on your shoulder. I don't want you to leave, though. Mm. I don't want you to leave anymore, but I understand that you need that. I need to eat coffee. I hung. I need something. How does your character uh. get the idea that they could eat coffee? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good question. Well, first of all, I have a nine in intelligence and I'm having a mental breakdown. <laughs> That's fair. Mental break would be a, uh, would reduce your intelligence by five. Yeah, so I'm operating on four intelligence in total. Oh my god. How would even one manage a character that had a four to intelligence? I just add she's freaking monk and <laughs> it's horrible and intelligence. I just, I want to eat the coffee. Crib, help me eat coffee. Oh my god. My god. I want to say I face bomb when I push Lionel uh, towards Cora. Uh oh. <laughs> Fine. I saw, I after that point at Cora and, and do like, I and like hug the ear as. I've been telling him to hug her. Comfort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Going so pain. I love this so much. <laughs> like, I hate um. that you left. <laughs> But this is absolutely hilarious content. 
I'm gonna. I, I'll I'll just uh, and I start walking away. I scream oh. louder the further you walk away. <laughs> I just, just stealth out of there so I don't get like looked at by other students. You're gonna try and stealth past <laughs> your friends. Wow. I'm gonna pre- I'm gonna pretend like I just don't know them. Oh. Oh. Damn, oh, bro. Why would you do that? All right. We so played Lionel- cards. <laughs> Lionel, make a stealth check with disadvantage. The rest of you make perception checks. An eight. Sixteen. Twelve. Did anybody get above a seventeen? No. No. <laughs> I'm one. You roll seventeen. Oh, he rolled seventeen. Track Lionel, but he almost instantly, as soon as he puts his hood back on, just disappears. Ah, he hates oh, me. I slowly clap. Oh. I, I want to start crying more and be like, he really hates us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lionel, you can still hear that, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> he doesn't even want us anyways. Lionel, make a, Lionel, make a constitution check with severe disadvantage. <laughs> How do I do severe disadvantage? <laughs> three constitution checks. You take this lowest of the three. Okay. <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> <Seven>. <laughs> That's when it is. Too high rolls too, you try to keep walking, Lionel, but as the screams keep getting louder, you finding it harder and harder to walk away. Until uh, once you get about 20 feet away, you find yourself just unable to continue. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, what a fun. Uda thunk a monk could do this. Hold on, hold on. What? I got it. I'm just continuing oh, no. to make these horrific sounds. I want to shoot an arrow next to her to get her to shut no. the fuck up. No! No! You're gonna, you're gonna no. kill me! You're gonna get hit! I what think do you I have to well. shield okay, okay. if you can just Everybody block it. Everybody but Denki, mute for a second. Because that way I can hear him. <laughs> okay, die. Lionel. You're getting out your bow and you're arching an arrow. Where are you aiming? Just right next to where I am. Like at the table? Yeah. Okay. R- roll an attack. What- Get a one. Get a fucking one. Hit me. Hmm? Oh, just regular. Roll an attack. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> so close. It barely gets halfway before it hits the ground. You just oh. don't have the strength in your strength of character right now to arch the arrow true. Can I try to just can I just dash away? Can nope. I try to? No. You find yourself unable to get farther away from them right now. The guilt of leaving is too much. I see. (laughs) Mm, I don't know what to do. (laughs) I really don't know what to do. I don't. (laughs) You can go back. I know something to do. That's the basic way, though. Hey, I'm not. You could have a breakdown, breakdown, and start crying too. That, that could be good. Uh... You both other, you all three can unmute now. By the way, I just really need to be able to hear him. We could just be crying like loudly together, like ah. I'm not gonna be crying. That's all. No. Yeah, he uh... rolled high enough on Constitution that he's not gonna be crying, but low enough that he can't go. He just sits down there, just I'm, like... Yeah, I'm just gonna sit down. Stare at the ground. Squeak, about a minute passes when you look about 20 feet to to your left, and you just... That's when you're able to reacquire Lionel, thanks to your passive perception. You just notice him sitting on the ground. 
he's he's oh. kind of facing half towards you, half away from you. His his bow at his feet. Um. Okay. 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 <clears throat> I want to walk towards them. Okay. Lionel, you notice that the corner of your eye squeaks starting to approach. Oh, you're approaching him? Okay, now I can use my master plan. Okay, now, since he's getting closer, and I know it, does that mean I can extend the range I can leave? Because... Oh I'm my gonna say God. it's no. I'm going to say it's tethered to the group as a whole. And so, God, no, yeah, no. no. And it's no. mainly towards Korra, if I'm correct, because I haven't done anything to embarrass Yeah, Coley has <laughs> got the biggest draw of the three because of that whale. <laughs> I'm still just crying like, ah. I'm not uh, crying for Korra while this is Kualia, happening. roll a d4 for me. D4 for what? You're having a severe enough mental break. You're taking psychic damage. One. That's just a... Damage. <laughs> Marked. You, the, so, that psychic point of damage cannot heal until you finish a long rest. Okay. Um... Am I close enough to him by now? Uh, unless Lionel tries to get you to stop he's gonna you can get as close as you want i'm not so hey, you get perfect. as close as you wish okay why don't we right next to him and sit down okay you um so. i pull my backpack in front of me and i take out one of the octopi tentacles what <laughs> don't you remember he pulls out the octopi tentacle, and Lionel kind of instantly triggers a flashback. You and you arching that very bow in front of you to do massive damage to them, as you watch Squeak just decimate another one nearby. Good times, good times. I just want to hand him over that one tentacle I pulled out. I have okay. I have Billy, can I DM you something real quick? Okay. I have a question. Okay. Okay. Um That's a good question. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to speak it out loud for the others. Oh all good. So um Squeak or sorry, Phantom. Did Smokey he or did Squeak hear it when Smokey said I love you to Lionel? I love you, or I love you? I love you. I'd say, yeah, I wasn't any close enough. I think so. Then, yeah. Yep, there's your answer. Okay. Alright. Um, <laughs> fuck. Mm, I don't... I just... Grab the octopus, octopus remain. All right, go ahead and uh, squeak deduct one from your inventory. Lionel, go ahead and add one. I have done so. How much is it? How much does it weigh? Uh, it's just a ration. It's just you just change the name to octopus tentacle. Okay. But that is correct. Thank you for reminding me about that. <laughs> I have one more thing to say. Yeah, Billy, fuck you. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, 
Hey, this is the sucky part about being a DM. Sometimes you just gotta force your will upon a situation in order to get the game going. <laughs> it's all good. Combine that with your kind of sucky rolls, and sorry, but you're screwed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, right after I take that out, as in means of. I know you're probably going to leave, so I would love to leave you with this, even though I think he already has one. I'm not sure why. Actually, I might switch it out. Wait a minute. Who was the other rogue that died again? <laughs> we had another rogue? No, I think we had another rogue at once that died and we just took their they stuff from They didn't die. They got put in jail. It was Danky's first character. Oh, wait. Then from who the hell did he get a second crowbar from? Oh, from Puko. No. Yeah, from yeah, Puko. Yeah, 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 you looted his corpse. I, I forgot he had a freaking crowbar on him. I thought it was from the other Puko. Oh, He's God. not saying anything, but I can fear the, feel the irritation off of Danky right now. <laughs> My plan's ruined. I no. thought it was that not Puko. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, break my computer right now. Hold on. <laughs> How dare you bring up Tanky. For the record, don't be mad uh, at me. Be mad at the dice. Mm -hmm. No, no, you should be mad yeah, at I me. I guess not bad. This, this Fuck, and I also threw the, away the uh, land armor. Play the game good enough that the players never get mad at me, they get mad at the dice. No, you're supposed to get mad at me because I'm the one that's crying and being a bitch. <laughs> Wait. Are you, still, are you still crying at this yes! point, Coralia? Oh my god. Roll another d4. Oh my god. I, I'm just not voicing it simply because for... Simply because I don't want to, uh, like, ruin the moment between them. I did I give? You, you mm. know exactly what happens, Qualia. Yeah. I did it. I have nine health left. Did I give my other journal to someone else? I couldn't hear you, Billy. I'm gonna say you fall unconscious, Qualia. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, you just um, hear the whale stop, and you look over, and the ghostly form of Qualia is now unconscious. Oh my god! Uh, uh, ghostly tear still streaming down her face. Oh, 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 oh! oh. I gave my other journal to to to, 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 to Kriv. Can I point at my journal, and then like 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 lift it up to show it to Kriv and point at it, trying to. Like tell Criff uh, about the journal I gave them. I, I want to do that. Like, do you still like it, it, as a means of uh the other journal, the one I gave you, and then make it like a like a come here motion. In terms of I I can I have it back? Kriff, do you give it back? Yes. You come over, you give it back. Perfect, perfect, perfect. perfect, perfect. Body on the floor. Okay. I'll come back. So, now that I've done that, I have one other ink bottle, so I want to give that one with the journal. I don't have to give him my own. No, my own one wouldn't be good. I want to give him that ink bottle and the journal over to to Lionel. Okay. Go ahead and deduct that from your inventories, Kriv, and... I have. Lionel, go ahead and add it to your inventory. Just a journal, right? Journal and ink. Yes. Uh, the journal, you'll have to put it down as a book and then edit the name of it. Right. I am very much assuming that you're doing that so then that way he ha can write you letters one day. <laughs> I'm doing it as a means of his first... Notebook, quote unquote, notebook for him to, uh, when he starts learning how to write. But if he wants to use it for letters, then sure. So are you about to start we another uh, ABC lesson? Actually, <laughs> that's a good we idea, but I cannot do that myself. Only Kriff can. You can, it's just going to be harder. 
Because remember, Qualia sang the ABCs. Oh, shit, true. Should I try? What was what was the roll again for it? Uh, both Lionel and uh, Squeak make wisdom checks. Shit, it's a wisdom. Okay, <laughs> sure, You know, I, I think I, I think I can do it. I I think I can do this. No, I cannot. Uh, that's a ten. <laughs> Lionel, it's gonna wait for... make a wisdom. Oh, sorry. Please. Binky's like so out of it now. Alright, so if I call correctly, oh, you guys already taught him A, B, and C. And D. And D. And D. Because we had code. You taught him E. No, no, it was D. No, just now. Good enough. Oh, okay. We just taught him E. Okay. Uh huh. So Good enough as a start. Yep. <laughs> And it only took you about a half hour. Actually, no, I'm going to say 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Because oh. as you're getting through the letters, line was getting progressively faster. That's good. It's really, I don't know if I should like say, ask if I can do it again, because I don't know how much time would that be, and I don't know how much time we have left. It's probably about... Uh, Afternoonish, so you still have plenty of time. Oh, you want to want to try again? Sure. That's yeah. That's Both the other one then. This time, because you're in the learning zone now. Nice. Okay. Oh, please! <laughs> Holy shit! I needed that advantage real bad. Sixteen. Fifteen. I have two bodies. Don't You've learned about them. half of all the letters now. <laughs> They're both the same person. <laughs> and how much time? About a half hour. Holy shit, wait. Can, can I keep going and see if we can get him to learn everything? Right, make another set. Normal or with advantage again? With advantage. Fuck, let's do this. Let's see if we can get you to learn everything. Holy shit, okay, that's a 15. Cool. He can write letters now, but he needs to learn how to put them together. Oh my god, that is amazing. We've made progress with him. I've taught him so much in so little time. <laughs> I'd also like to say your bond has increased. Yes! <laughs> Yo, a Kenku became a professor. Oh my God. <laughs> we go ahead and add that you made about ten percent progress to increasing your wisdom score. Holy! F okay, uh, let me put that in my note. If I can reach to them. Oh my god. Why is, did it close down on me? Okay, why does it keep... <laughs> okay, uh, 10%. I am gonna but I keep... add a slight debuff, mm -hmm. though. Thanks to all this learning, Lionel's a little out of phase now, so if you're gonna try to continue, it's gonna get... Harder. I think that's... No, I think that's okay for now. I'm not gonna want to over overwork him. An hour studying with him, so it's time for a break, or you're gonna get study fatigue. I'm assuming that um he only did that to try to like get him out of the funk, try to make him feel better. Maybe. That Qualia, the way is at least to have a good goodbye to him if he Qualia, actually leaves. You woke up about fifty minutes into this, and you actually look were a you're able to see Lionel now. And you just saw Lionel and Squeak studying together. I'm just trying not. It to warms make your any... heart. I'm like, I, I wish I could study with them again. And I just like try not. I'm just trying to muffle. <laughs> Make a deception check for us. A deception? Yep. Oh, How fuck. well you muffle. Oh fuck! They they can hear you, but they can tell you're trying to hold it in. I'm trying to 
of you guys have a moment. <laughs> it's also why they're stopping at this point, because it's starting to prove a little distracting. Uh, that that have... might be a hint, by the way, Squeak. I want to... Wait, what the fuck? What? Where's the dagger Lionel had given me? Did you forget to put it in? I think I did! No, 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 no. Uh, um, remember I Oh, right, Lionel decided to keep, keep it. it. Oh, you yeah. changed- Okay, okay, I was about to say, because I remember I was back and I was, like, looking for it all the- I was like, oh, fuck, where did I put it? <laughs> okay, no, it's completely fine. I think that would be enough. I don't have anything else I can give, so I'm just gonna, like, pass back to a thumbs up. Okay, so, well, the lesson's over, what are the four of you up to? I'm trying to keep my distance so I'm not, like, getting more and more crying. Okay. Squeak and Lionel, what you guys doing? Uh, uh... I... This is a black marker, right? Yup. I want to ask Lionel. I can't ask him with words. And I don't think he's still at the point of he can read that you good enough because you think that with words but it's gonna result in a intel in a wisdom check with disadvantage to see if he can try to guess what you're writing all right do, do that. that i just mimic because i i don't want to like he i already like work him out i don't want to like overwork him trying to read what i wrote like i want to give him some time to have you know, to, like, be refreshed. Gotcha. So I'm gonna try and, like, point down on the floor. So, and you said that we can, like, see through or something? There's a... So, there's three levels. And... There's... Yeah. If you've ever been in a big enough house or, like, a mall, you know how the fl in the middle there's gaps and you can see down levels? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's like that, with each level getting progressively more inwards, and the bottom floor is the middle. Kind of like a dome. Oh, okay. Okay, so my okay, so this is going to be my plan for asking him about a store. Because this is a black market, so I'm hoping there actually is what I'm looking for. Ah, I take out a, let's say, a copper piece. I don't want to be... Okay, I take out a copper piece, I point down, and I start mimicking different animal noises. Okay. That is all. Basically, I'm asking if there's any, like, familiar store or pet store or anything. Lionel, make an insight check followed by an investigation check. Should I, should I make the investigation? Never mind. Don't make the, the investigation. No. Okay. If Never I... mind. If I managed to get drugs, I wouldn't have got it. I wouldn't have been, like, crying like that. My character would have just been, like, out of it. <laughs> God. How do I do this? That was so different than what I used to happen. One second, guys. I need to mute for you just a second. Okay. There you go. Squeak, if you ever visit me, do you want to eat coffee with me? Imagine I misinterpret it. And you do not. There. Uh, there are. there are edible cops. I hope you know that, right? Yeah, exactly. You can, you can eat, use let's eat one of those. Together. But you don't like. You don't. Eat your first drink and then you buy it into the cop. No, no, we'll, we'll do both okay. at the same time. That it must be a really small cup then, unless you can open your mouth that wide for it to not just Lionel? drop not down. Your Lionel, mm -hmm. in your interpretation of Squeak's intentions, you get the impression that there are a bunch of wild animals loose on the first floor. Oh, Jesus. 
hope they have an animal control then. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, now. Good thing we went to Darth Maul. I was in character. Just look at him confused. <laughs> do, um. Do Kevin and I understand what he's saying? What was that, Qualia? Do Kriv and I understand what he's saying? Go ahead and make your own insight checks. Oh my god. I... Six. It was on 19 for a second. That would have been great. 18. Yes. Qualia, having heard Lionel's interpretation, you agree with it. Oh my god. Kriv, you oh my actually god. know what he's saying. Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, the wild animals? I don't want you guys to get hurt. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to D&D, &D, everybody. Chris <laughs> got an 18, come on. <laughs> so, Chris, what are you going to do? Nothing. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. God. You know, like, two party members be like, oh, 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 oh no, and then okay. he's just like, what? So, now we have a ghost that is panicky from a bunch of wild animals on the first floor, and a confused Lionel. Guys, I don't want you guys to get hurt anymore. Here, let's just leave. I don't want you guys to get hurt. Oh my god. Why are there wild animals in here? I just, I, I, I just face bomb and walk towards Cora. Open my urinal. I'm asking for a stupid animal store. Oh, you're you're <laughs> looking for a familiar. Oh, um, my animal keep looking for familiars. That's okay. all in character. Okay. <laughs> I've been crying all the way. Alrighty, with the proper interpretation now revealed, Lionel, what do you do? Oh. I look for a familiar shop, I guess. So is anyone going down with Lionel? Yes. I'm going with Alex down there. I mean, with Yeah, I'm Alex. going down there. Alright, and the entire group is going down. United once more. I don't like, Noise. I like how I'm just, like, here trying to be quiet with my crying. Or do you feel like Kriv has to pull Cora around? <laughs> <laughs> I was imagining I would just be like, right. so, Lionel, make it your investigation check. One second. Six. Okay. I'm not really sure if there's animals for sale here. Oh. Or they feel like the store is right in front of our faces and we're like, hmm. -mm. I mean, you can search Anyone for else? individually if you want to. Are we? Wait, are we... That? I mean, there's... There's ten, 10 stores here, right? Yep. And there's how many of us again? Four, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, two take one side and the other two take the other. And remember, you already know the result of one of the stores. Uh, I forgot which one it was. That's for We're sure. Each other. I say whoever went to that one uh, should take that line. Which is fine, guys. So... For simplicity's sake, it you guys search the other stores with the sole intent of looking for animals. It takes you about ten minutes until you get to the far right store from the stairs, and you find a, a shop that is capable of ordering you animals, though they only have a very limited selection of small animals and stuff. Get a snack game. Oh. Get a snake! I like snake. 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 Um... Okay then, um, anyways... Big poison for your I am about to muffle Cora, I swear. <laughs> uh, anyways... 
I well, it's, it seems like we are all together. So, anyways, I will pull out my urinal, of course, and I will write down. Uh, what animal do you have for sale? We have mice, rats, a couple of parrots. We even found the we even found this bat and rehabilitated them. A bat. A bat. A bat. Out of character, a bat. Yep. Holy shit! I can be Batman. Wait, no, Batbird. <gasps> you can have it like bite you. Of bats for that. <laughs> All you needed is to have it bite you, and then you're Batman. Um. So bats, rats, parrots. A parrot would be weird as hell because what it has to repeat really? whatever I repeat, and that will be uh <laughs> crazy. <laughs> They also respond, well, we can order you animals if you think you're going to be here a what while. A, what about a snake? Do you guys have snakes? Little snake. No. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh my god. Um, snakes are my favorite animal. I, I quickly write down, uh, what animals can I order? Do you have a selection or can it be any? It can be any, but the more exotic to the animal, the longer it's going to take. Oh. Fuck, I gotta think. You, you also gotta think, Lionel, how long has this black market been in operation if it's sanctioned by the Academy? Oh, yeah. So they've had plenty of time to refine it. <laughs> 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 Can I try to order a raven? Okay. Yeah, I kinda want a mythical bird or something. Cause there are this is fantasy, but I don't know what exactly I can order from the mythical selection. Can you give me a range? This is this is like this is like Phantom to the DM, what not... About, what about a Seahawk? Wait, so, hold on. Who asked to get a raven? Me. That's interesting, considering ravens have the same mimic cry as Kenku. It's in the D&D book. Exactly. Oh, is... yeah. He's doing that on purpose, because he misses you. <sighs> he cares about you, sweet. I thought he's getting it. Wait, why am I thinking so hard about what I want? I want a fucking fox. Wait, are we all trying to order animals? Are we gonna stay here that long? I... I'm ordering because I don't know how much it's gonna take cause because you have a fight tomorrow. Uh, this is me out of character. Uh, you have a fight tomorrow, and we don't know if you're going to win it or lose it. And if you lose it, we are probably going to stay here for a long while until we get you out of here. Um, and if you win it, you become an Archmage. Which uh, then we have to look for someone you, that you can give your title to. You. If you give it to me, then I have to stay here as a professor for I don't know how long. Unless they let me leave for a while to go adventuring. I um um. I, well, I they got... let the um uh, big bad person do it. This is all out of true. character. Really? That's true. What's up? Could I get a dire wolf? That's good shit. <sighs> yeah. Could... Wait. Make a persuasion check. Oh, it was right over a nineteen. Oh. oh. Can I try to help out? They just look you up and down and just like, are you sure you can afford that? You don't even have your robes yet. C can I try How to- much is it? They just oh. look at each other like they're trying to decide if they want to tell you the true value or not. And they just respond with, more than you can afford. <laughs> um, guy, how much is that? How much is it? Uh, these two particular students are not capable of uh, interacting with you, Qualia. 
Uh, I want to put my uh, hand there so we go, HOW MUCH IS IT?! <laughs> oh no. I'm putting on both of your soldiers and just screaming that. Mm. Qualia, make two intimidation checks, please. Here we go again, folks. Can I ask something quickly? <gasps> Yo! Yo? No! Oh. Oh my <laughs> god. I scared the ever-loving fuck out of one of them. I, I think like, it's... What? Paulia, I think it's better if you know. 2d6, please. 2d6? Nine. You scared both of them. The first one, the uh, male student, jumps high enough, he hits his head on the roof of the stall, crashes back down. He's alive, but unconscious. Oh my god. <laughs> what about you the other one? another tally to your knockout list. What about the other one? <laughs> they steadied themselves. They're fine. They didn't jump that high. Please excuse my friend. Um... Just tell us excuse your friend? Just tell us that was your <laughs> guess. The D and D the the dungeon master will remember that statement. Ooh. I mean they're talking to this person. Fuck. And I asked Please something real quick. The voice that you just heard. <laughs> the the other att attendant looks at you and it just responds with Well, cough up a health potion. Yep. Huh? Can I try to scare the <laughs> shit out of them? You did this to my friend. You owe you owe me a health potion to get him away. Can I just give you the gold for one? Twenty five gold. Okay. Pay him the gold. No. No. I don't pay him the gold. <laughs> I wanna I wanna scare him too. I wanna scare this other one too. You just tried. You failed. So. You. You can't scare them a second time. They know you're there, so if you try to do it again, it's not going to work. Uh, don't, don't do anything. I have two portraits of healing. I'll just give one. Okay. Okay. So the I just hand over one of my portraits of healing. They, they pour the potion of healing in the other attendees' mouth. They get up. They're a little groggy. And they're like, what? Uh, what happened? Ghost shenanigans. <laughs> Not again. How many times have I fallen for that now? You didn't oh fall for God. anything, man. Well, yeah, make a make an intimidation check with disadvantage, please. Is Alfred killing? Four. Oh. No, he I'm not. He jumps a little bit. You found a scaredy cat, but he's fine. Hey, no, no, no. It's, I'm not trying to scare you. I just want to know the price. You're not taking the guy seriously. Price of what? The dire wolf, motherfucker. Wait, you actually want a dire wolf? Yes! With you? Alright. Uh, it's gonna run you probably about 150 gold. Maybe more. Oh my god. I'm not entirely sure. Lionel, do you have that? I got 136. Uh, I'll cover the rest. I want a failure. I'll, I'll... need a direwolf billy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm covering the rest yeah, of that the cost. Money. Give me the direwolf. I have a question for Billy. Hmm. Uh, it's the list of animals I can choose from. Is it from any mythology? Or does it have to be Norse mythology if I go for mythology animal? Norse. Uh, so it has make, to be. Unless you can make a good persuasive um, persuasion with me that that animal would be in the game. He you're gonna send that hear game. me out. You hear me out. Me later. Wait, if, do they have fairies? We want to keep things flowing, so you can just send it to me in DM, alright? Do they have fairies? Oh, okay. What was that, Qualia? Do they have ferrets? Yep. I want to get a ferret. 25 gold. 25? That's easy. Could I... Wait, There's do I get it right now? Yep. 
Cool. They have an extra ferret. <laughs> Remove Pog. Well, can I can I name them? Though, so, um, in in game, it's gonna have to be marked as a weasel. How do Sorry. I add it? You can go into there. Should be a uh do, 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 do. if you go to the extras manage items extra manage. there is a beast extra. companion and familiars and there it gives you the full list <laughs> and i believe um, if you so search weasel you'll find we've... it how much would a pseudo dragon cost oh a, my god a dragon no, a pseudo dragon. They're like the tiny version. The really tiny versions. Uh, it's like a Smokey's uh, made. Fuck, what's it called? Wait. Oh, uh, uh, the the. I don't think that there's thing? one in this in this world. Wait. Uh, a pseudo you... dragon. How do you do the method of changing the name of an item? Once you add it to your inventory, you can click it, and there should be an option. Oh, it's a rain dog. What? Anyway, back to, back to the dire wolf. Hey, oh my wait god. A hey, can it be any time? Um, how much oh is left? God. How much does uh, Lionel need to be able to cover the cost of the dire wolf? 14 gold. 14? That's assuming you guys want him to drain his entire money. Yeah. I'm going to give him 14 gold. Fuck you. <laughs> you okay. have 14 gold. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, no, no. Have um, 15 gold. Have 15. Here. So 15 no. after the transaction? I just gave him 15 gold in total. Before or after the transaction? No, no, no. Just to, fin to be able to do the transaction. So that way he'll have one gold left over. Oh my god. But, wait, but the real reason why I'm doing that is so I can have 666 six, six gold. Bruh. <laughs> oh my god. I think he needs a little bit more help on that. Inventory and you realize you lost a gold piece. Why? That's for being trollish. <laughs> you now have 665. Okay, uh, can I get changed? Can I turn uh, some silver into gold? Just one gold. Do you, how much silver do you have? Then the exchange in eight ten equals one gold. Ten silver yes. equals one gold. Here's ten silver. You have ten silver. Yep. I do. Out of twenty six, this isn't me. As a I do have twenty six. And you're telling silver magically. Sure, you can go back up again, but it's going to cost you a silver to do it. Wow. Okay. Nice try, Qualia. I can be just as trollish too when I want to be. I'm not trying to troll, though. You oh want six hundred sixty-six gold. That's yeah. Trolling. How much money do we all I have? Know, like, Riff, winning... how much money do you have? Okay, so I'm losing eleven silver and gaining one gold. Cool, Pog. Thanks. Riff. Yo, yo. How much money do you have? I have 671 gold. Y'all have a total we of should, Oh, give him a little bit. I gave him stuff. So, Cora gave him 15. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give him 10. I'm just helping him out so he doesn't like actually run out of gold. I'm gonna remove that from my inventory. Uh, ten silver equals one gold, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna subtract ten silver from my inventory, and I'm gonna add one gold to my inventory. Wait, he okay. has a max health of one HP. Okay, and you Billy, really I want you. Durable. What? You really expect a weasel to be durable? <laughs> 
Wait, can I get a big ferret? Oh, uh, what? It's exotic enough that they're going to have trouble finding one. How long would it take? They're not sure if it's even possible. If it is, they will, but it might not be possible. But they're, sh they're more confident in getting a dire wolf? Wow. Well, yeah, that's, those are that's more... common to this region. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. So all really? they would really have to do is find someone who's managed to tame one, which is not that hard if they're common enough. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, I have a little ferret. I want to place an order for my dire wolf now. Okay. So just for bookkeeping, go ahead and just add a dire wolf to your companion list, but I'll <gasps> let you know when it's actually there. Could I, okay. Could I nice. get something too? What do you want to get, Griff? Hmm. You think they can find a constrictor snake? For all intents and purposes, it'll be marked as a regular snake. Alright. Because it'll just be a pet. That's good enough. Right? Uh, the, oh, snake wait, and, the snake and the ferret are just pets. Woo! What about the dire wolf? What do I do? Oh. The dire wolf will have its own thing. Okay. Pterodactyl! But we'll deal with that later because it's not here yet. According to Wikipedia, Pterodactylus is... So, um, I'm going to say for a snake, it's slightly exotic, so it's going to cost you 30 gold. Alright. So has everybody done shopping at this spot? No. No, right. uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, can you check the ends real quick? Uh, I think you'll find my argument uh, very compelling. So you want to try to have a, a sapient creature as a pet? Yes. That's on my ear, by the way. Wait, no, I say that, actually. Yeah, no, I say that with an unknown voice. Will you say what? I say yes. Is it, are you talking, like, in the NPC perspective, or are you talking to me as Billy? As Billy. Oh, as Billy, okay. Yes? <laughs> I would love for that to be a companion, if it is possible. If not, then I think I have another option, but still. Fortunately, this this shop does not deal in slavery. Fuck! Why? You're gonna, you're wait, gonna have what? To find this, you're gonna have to find a no. slaver. No, 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 wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You're telling me that all of these animals are tabaxi in this world. Wait, are you trying to buy a tabaxi? What the fuck? Trying no, buy... I'm trying to buy a kitsune. And my argument was worse? that he added a tabaxi kitsune in the game. So I thought maybe there wasn't like an actual kitsune. Oh. I, I told you that the innkeeper was a kitsune disguised as a tabaxi. Ah, so in other words, all the kitsunes in this world are humanoid. Kitsune in lore, in real world, are sapient creatures of unimaginable power. Yes. You are but hear me you're, out. You are basically asking the equivalent of trying to enslave a dragon. So if I will like a Kitsune as a companion, that means I have to befriend one that I find randomly. Yeah, you'd be better right? finding a random Kitsune and trying to befriend them to join your party. Trying to I have a perfect idea one. then. I have a perfect idea that I'm going to go back to that one place and I'm going to flirt the shit out of her until she becomes my companion. And there we have it. Okay, so now, continuing with the pets. Can I have Fenrir? I'm joking. I don't want Fenrir. Can I have a riding dog? Can I ask a... What's up, Qualia? Is it possible to train my ferret? Uh, In what? 
in the fence so that it doesn't get hurt. I just want to make sure that it won't get hurt. You can treat it in evasiveness. Exactly. I want to try to it's help. It's best defense is keeping it on you so it doesn't get hurt unless I, you do. I, I want to make sure that it will, like, dodge. Like, I don't want it to get hurt. It only has for a single sense, HP. For so game sense, if you get into a fight near the cart, the, the ferret's going to be in the cart. If you get into a fight and the cart's not nearby... The ferret will stay in your collar where it's unlikely to get hit. Okay. I'm not gonna kill your Ooh. pet on you. Good. I'm I'm not a dick. Oh, Billy. also I have Same a question. Go ahead. Hmm? Alright. Um, so yeah, I bought a snake, yeah? Yeah. There's no normal snakes. Ugh, hold on. Squeak, you wanna hear the name of my ferret? Oh, uh, sure. Oh. The name of my ferret the is Paradox. Stricter Stick is there. Yeah. Oh, it's a large beast. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can change I, the sizing I, on the little customization. No, I mean, like, I didn't understand how big this creature was that she was wanting to find. Oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah, I told you, 25 gold, right? Oh, uh, you said 30. 30? Mm-hmm. Let's... Let's slap an extra 110 on that. <laughs> Alright, that's Ooh. all okay. That's A-okay. -okay. Because you're asking for a creature the size of a dire wolf. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's also going to take a while. <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> I got the animal that I want. I can't really have my kids to it, and I'm not actually going to ask for Fenrir and Nurhag and Munin. I want a riding dog. Riding bug? Dog. Dog. Oh. I heard bug. Yes. Sure. Riding dog. D O O G. Uh. There's no. Is my microphone here. actually okay? Yes, it is. There's there is no such thing as a riding dog. There's a blink dog, which is a fae, but they're extremely rare. You there? Uh, I am, but my freaking internet is having problems. Okay, there we go. So I was going through the list of companions, and I saw a riding dog. So I was like, oh. There's a riding horse. Uh, uh but now I have to think. No, 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 no. I, I wanted the, the riding dog, because it's huge. Um. Okay, so actually, cute. hold on. So, I um, there is mastiffs in the game, though. There's what? Mastiff. They were a large dog. Yeah, it's a. It is one of those. I guess I don't know. Whenever I look it up, I see different type of dogs, but that's the one I'm looking at right now. It's the pub dog in here. And other places, it's just a riding dog. Yeah, it's not big enough to be a, reli a reliable riding dog for a for a for a full grown adult, but it's a pretty large dog. Like, what's the uh, like? What would be a good like size person to be able to ride it? The equivalent. Of, oh, right, Squeak is small. Yeah, you could ride a Mastiff. I think his internet went out. Uh oh. Damn, what a bitch. So sad. Oh well. So, um, Kriv, Qualia, and Lionel, are you guys done with your shopping at this plot? Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. We'll give Squeak a minute to see if he can recover. 
I'm just giving little pterodactyl head pets. That's his name right now. Pterodactyl. Yep, he said his internet died. Yep. Uh, uh, Squeak just asked, just is using the other proxy. Um, he was wondering if it could be a fox instead. Okay, um, I would say 50 gold. 50 G. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Sorry. I don't know why, but my internet in the nighttime just wants to mess up. It's all good. We're almost done anyway. Uh, 50 gold, you said. Yep. Yeah, I'm done with that. Uh, is there, like, is it a custom one or is it an actual companion so I can look up the stats or something? Uh, good question. Uh, let me see if I can find it in the category thing. I'm learning that when you look up Beast Companion, you need to be oddly Pacific in order to find it. Ah. Oh. Would I be able to use the Constrictor Sneak as in combat? Possibly. Nice. I'm not seeing anything for Fox, so we might have to alter something else. Yeah, no. All I keep finding is Foxes for Druids and Rangers, and then Spirit Fox, but that is... I doubt that is what I'm looking for. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Wait. Wait, actually, what is this? Um, um, for all intents and purposes, go ahead and use a cat as your thing and just alter the name. Good enough, yeah. And that will be 50, so let me remove that. Everybody done shopping at this spot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, okay, so you go to exit the little spot of that shop. Having fulfilled your various orders and gotten your new pets, when I'd like everybody to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no oh wait, saving throw. I saving, not, not check. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> guys! <laughs> guys, please. <laughs> You're. You've gotten used to this explosion out of nowhere thanks to the riverboat, and all of you managed to keep your footing. There is a massive explosion above ground. Oh, you actually oh, look gosh. towards the fo third floor, and you see that one of the doorways doorways ends have straight up collapsed in rubble. A second, yeah, well. a second explosion quickly ro rocks it, and it and based on the sound, it sounds like it's coming from the opposite direction and Are they trying to a, bust the black a second door collapses in we should get out of here on the other side and that's where we're going to pick off today's session oh. they're busting yeah. the black market wow oh my god FBI raid. that was fun uh thank you guys for watching i'll see you next week